Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? This is Richie from Jets Media, bringing you guys some breaking news that the Jets have officially cut cornerback Pierre Desir. And I'll be bringing you guys my initial thoughts and reaction to this and why I think this is a very good move just in terms of giving the young guys some reps. So before I hop in the video, I just want to mention, for those of you guys that do not know, I have multiple other YouTube channels that I'm working on right now. One is called Touchdown Kingdom. I just posted a video all about the rookie quarterbacks like Justin Herbert, Tua, and Joe Burrow. If you're interested in that video, please go make sure you check it out. And if you're a New York Mets fan, I have another channel called Mets Media where I'll be posting all Mets content and I'll be making a Knicks channel after the draft as well so make sure you stay tuned for that with that being said let's jump right into the news that Pierre Desir is no longer a New York Jet so this was definitely a bust signing he was kind of like a player that Joe Douglas went out there and got to be a band-aid type player you know veteran one year cheap minimum deal really low risk and he obviously did not pan out a lot of Jets fans hated him because he played really bad and I think it's a good move just because, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we need to let the young guys get reps. So this opens things up for Bryce Hall even more. I think that the starting cornerbacks for the rest of the season should be Bryce Hall and Bless Austin. That's a fun cornerback duo to watch. You know, we got a second-year player. They, they both have similar stories. You know, they both were drafted late in the draft due to injury concerns. They were both coming out of college and... Maybe not bless Austin, but Bryce Hall was a second round, third round talent, but his injury made him fall to the fifth. Bless Austin, he was looked at as a, as a way higher draft pick than a sixth round pick, but he battled a lot of injuries at Rutgers. So the Jets got two cornerbacks in the last two drafts late in the draft, and we can hope to uh, develop them, you know, because the cornerback position is definitely the most one of the most at least you know there's a lot of holes on this roster the cornerback position is not the only one but it is definitely the position group that will need to be worked on the most in the off season and for pierre this year to get cut that just solidifies joe douglas understanding like okay we're 0 9 i hope frank gore gets cut next because he has no use on this team other than being a veteran presence and helping out the michael pierre in the locker room and being a, a leadership you know him getting reps over pirine is completely inexcusable. I don't want to get off on a tantrum about that because this video is about Pierre Desir, but Pierre Desir was a disappointment. He had like one good game, but that good game he had like gave up two touchdowns and he also had a pick six and a, two picks that game, including a pick six, I think. Yeah, the Broncos game I'm talking about. So Pierre Desir had a really terrible career, short career as a New York Jet cornerback. And it's refreshing to see that the Jets are cutting anybody that they do not see in their long-term vision because this is the time to evaluate the talent we have on the roster. Who does Joe Douglas want to bring back next year for 2021? Who does he see as household names? Because we're going through a revamped rebuild, you know? Obviously, a lot of people are going to be like, the Jets have been rebuilding for five years and it's just not working. But this rebuild's different. It's not the same type of rebuild we've been going through the past couple of years. Joe Douglas is doing it his own way. And in order for the Jets to be successful in the long term, he needs to rip this team apart from the, from the middle out. And get rid of any contracts, any veterans that he does not want. And we saw that with Steve McClendon. We saw that with Avery Williamson, Le'Veon Bell. Pierre Desir is the next man up to get out of this New York Jets team. He was just a disappointment. For him to get starting reps down the line is useless. You know, I mentioned I compared it to Frank Gore. It's useless for Gore to get carries. And it's useless for Pierre Desir to get any type of reps on defense because it takes away from the young guys, such as Bryce Hall, Bless Austin, even undrafted rookie Lamar Jackson, even Javelin Guidry. You know, there's a lot of cornerbacks on this team that I'm interested to see if they can develop as the season progresses. And now that he's gone, it opens things up. So let me know in the comments section down below. Are you guys happy with this news? Because me, genuinely, I just looked at my phone and I'm like, yes. You know, this is what the Jets should be. I know it's not... It's kind of sad that I'm really happy about this, but it just shows me that, okay, we're not going to waste time. We're not going to give all these veterans with no future on this team any playing time because it's useless. We need to let the young guys develop. So Bryce Hall looks like he's going to be the starting cornerback alongside Bless Olsen. That gets me excited as a Jets fan, to be honest. There's not a lot to get excited for on this New York Jets team, and it's unfortunate, but you know we're 0-9. Hopefully, we can go 0-16 or 1-15 and finish with that first overall pick. You know, unfortunately, as you guys know, Sam Darnold will not be playing this week and Joe Flacco will be out there. That's just bad in terms of, you know, this. it's a whole nother topic. I'll just brief on it real quick while I have you guys in the video. Sam Darnold has not been 100% healthy since that 
Thursday night football game against the Broncos, but the Jets kept throwing him out there with a non-100% throwing shoulder. You know, he should not be playing football if he's not 100% healthy. It's inexcusable. So now they're like, yeah, we're not going to put him on the field unless he's healthy. So why'd you do in the first place? It's just absolutely inexcusable. Another example of terrible coaching, terrible everything on this organization. We need to destroy the coaching staff literally christopher johnson and woody johnson if he comes back he needs to go in there and fire everybody and let joe douglas interview his guys and let him bring in coaches because it is really bad so pierre desire is gone it makes me happy like i meant i keep saying over and over again because we need to see the young guys play that does it for this video let me know your thoughts of pierre desire getting cut down below in the comment section make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more content on this channel i launched my first ever talk show episode last night on this channel called monday night sports talk so if you guys are interested in that make sure you check it out i got a lot of content in store i also got the playstation 5 finally sitting there right there and i'm going to be posting some ps5 content eventually so make sure you stay tuned i got a lot in store and uh let's go jets stay tuned for you know flight preview and all that good stuff peace out guys